Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. Wow. After an underwhelming phase 4 of the MCU, it seems that phase 5 is beginning with a bang, a quantum bang. Although this is the third installment of the Ant-Man sub franchise, this is nothing like its predecessors because this Ant-Man 3 directly sets up the next Avengers movie. So we have to watch this on the biggest screen possible with our eyes wide open and complete attention. Amidst this chaos of quantum mania, the story is actually fairly simple. Scott Lang was trapped in the quantum realm for 5 years. Although for him it was mere 5 hours, but the regret is that he missed his time with his daughter. If you have watched my video on Ant-Man's character arc, you will know how important his daughter is for him. So when he finally returned from the quantum realm, he must have expected meeting his cute little innocent girl. But when he saw this teenager, she was like a totally different person, almost unrecognizable. Then when an opportunity presented itself in form of Kang, He might have thought there is a second chance where he could be with little Cassie. I'm not sure exactly how because he can time travel but then it is against the rules of time travel. For Scott to go back and be with his daughter during the 5 year time jump. Perhaps this quantum adventure is for Scott to reconnect with his daughter and have the same feeling of affection that was missing when he saw the teenage cassie for the first time this movie is surely an adventure worth watching with no gimmicks like old character cameos to promote the movie or giving more importance to the side characters there surely is a plot revolving the wasp her family and kang but i am fine with it being a suspense till the movie releases but i think i know how this movie ends we know that after this movie we'll see kang in avengers kang dynasty so he won't die also if they plan on killing scott lang they better do it in an avengers movie after he gets a proper closure so this is what i think happens in the third act during climax scott fights with kang and since he knows that he cannot win he takes the next best option to be trapped with him in the past maybe that will give kang the opportunity to build his dynasty in the real world that's it for now although the 2022 mcu movies were a disappointment i am eagerly looking forward to ant-man and the wasp quantum mania so i'm happy to announce that mcu videos are going to be back on this channel we'll talk more about it once we get more information till then please stay subscribed to world building fanatic thank you